Hey there, community. Welcome to season three of the Providence podcast. I'm Sister Leslie, and I'm so glad you're here. At Godspace, we have all kinds of ways to connect with other people and to grow your spirituality. So be sure to sign up for our newsletter and stay connected with us. Visit godspacecommunity.com and follow us on social media too. Godspace is a ministry of the Sisters of Divine Providence of Kentucky, and you are more than welcome to stay connected with us as well. You can find us at cdpkentucky.org and wherever you find yourself on social media. And now let's get started with our scripture reading and do some reflecting together. The Gospel of Mark. On that day, as evening drew near, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet! Be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom every wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. I resonate so deeply with this story about Jesus and the disciples in the boat with the storm raging around them. I feel their fear of the storm and their relief when it's calm again. Also, I take comfort that, even though he seems mildly annoyed with the disciples, Jesus calms the storm. He interprets their fear as a lack of faith but he takes care of his own anyway. I don't know if you can relate to this, but when I'm in a space of uncertainty or difficulty or change, I often feel like this. I feel disoriented, topsy-turvy, frayed, and vulnerable, not unlike being in a small boat with waves crashing around it and a strong, blowing wind. When I'm in a situation like this, I feel just as out of control as the disciples do on their boat. It would be lovely if every time I find myself feeling like this, Jesus would show up and calm things down. Poof! Difficult situation over. All calm seas now. It usually doesn't work that way, though. Things don't just magically settle down. It usually takes a little work on my part to resolve things. Or sometimes there's nothing to be done but wait out the storm, which takes patience and trust and acceptance. No further action required. Honestly, that's even harder, though. I'd much prefer having something to do than having to sit and wait. However, sometimes the growth I need happens when I'm living into the uncertainty and waiting it out. And although God might not work a miracle, God is certainly present. And living through it can actually move me closer to God. A space of uncertainty or tumults can evoke fear in me. But I'm not sure that my fear necessarily means a lack of faith. I can believe in God's love and care and still be afraid. I can even take comfort in my faith in God, but that doesn't drive out the fear entirely. 
I can hold both faith and fear at the same time. I know the boat won't capsize and dump me out to drown in the sea, although that's probably a possibility kicking around in my head. Even though I trust that God is with me, I might still be afraid of the waves and wind. And maybe that's annoying to God. Or maybe God understands that a little bit of fear is just with me sometimes. I've come to see that fear and anxiety are my mind's attempts to protect myself. There are times when fear has a lot to tell me and I need to listen to it. When there's danger, fear is there to warn me. The trouble is that sometimes it shows up when there's not danger, when life feels dicey, but I'm actually safe, or when I don't know if I'm safe or not. That uncertainty of the boat at sea with Jesus asleep in it. I'm learning to just let it be there, to not give into it while I keep moving forward. I can still do what I'm called to do and surrender to the movement of the Spirit, even if I'm afraid. That surrender takes some deep trust and faith. In my community, we call that abandonment to divine providence. It's a spiritual disposition and also a practice that we try to enter into during significant times and also in our daily lives. Trust is something that doesn't come easily for me, even when it comes to trusting God. Even so, I'm growing bit by bit into this virtue of abandonment to providence, even if it doesn't come naturally to me. Some years ago, I had a dream about surrendering, one of those vivid, meaningful dreams that helped me to surrender in real life. And it felt a lot like our story of the disciples in the boat. It happened during a time of significant uncertainty and change in my life. So I dreamed that I was in a car with someone else. I'm not sure who the other person was, but they were driving and I was in the passenger seat. Suddenly, we weren't on the road anymore. The car was in a river being swept on by the current. And there I was in the passenger seat. Even if I had been in the driver's seat, though, because of the strong current, I still would have no real control over where we were going. Suddenly, up ahead, I saw a waterfall. We were going to go over it if we kept heading in this direction. I felt kind of a panic. Passenger seat be damned, I leaned over across the other person and grabbed the steering wheel, as if that could help me take control. I realized that there was really no control to be had in this situation. And so even in the dream, I thought, I have no control over where we're going, so I might as well enjoy the ride. I let go lifted my hands into the air, and surrendered to our falling. And then I woke up. That dream was a gift. It helped me to surrender to what was happening in my life, all those things beyond my control. And that dream is still with me. Times of uncertainty still feel like that to me, but I remember what it felt like to let go of the wheel and surrender to the free fall. Was it scary? Absolutely. Did I enjoy the ride? Yeah, I kind of did. And there was someone with me the whole time, sometimes driving, sometimes just allowing the ride to guide both of us. The invitation I hear in all of this is to allow the fear if it's there, but also to dig down deep into my faith. Fear is a feeling, and it will be there or not. Faith is an act of the will, 
an attitude, a choice. When life is uncertain, I'm not sure who's steering. But if it's not me in control, I won't let the fear take the wheel. And I know someone who loves me is with me for the journey. Whether we're moving through calm waters, choppy seas, or a wind-blown freefall. Thanks be to God. Now let's continue our reflection. When you're in a space of tumult or uncertainty or change, how does it feel to you? How do you deal with it? What helps you when you're in that space? And how is God with you? Now, maybe you could just take a little time to reflect over all of this with God, see what God has to say. Or maybe you could just sit in silence with God and allow God to love you, whether you're drifting over calm seas or navigating choppy waters. Thanks for listening to the Providence Podcast. I hope you continue to stay connected with God's space and, of course, the Sisters of Divine Providence of Kentucky. As you continue on your faith journey, may you notice all the ways that God cares for you, and may we all take good care of each other. Peace.